Hey there YouTubers, I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to get past um, any non-administrative rights. So if you're right clicking and you're getting system error 5 or you just forgot your administrative password and you can't sign on, I'm going to show you how to get past that right now. Alright, as you see here, I'm going to pretend I forgot my password. Okay, well, no big deal because what we're going to do what I want you to do is I want you to shut your computer down and restart it. Once once it starts trying to boot Windows, when you see the Windows lo logo, once you see the Windows logo, I want you to re restart. I want you to press the power button, hold it down until it shuts off. And then, so in this case, I'm going to... Uh, reset the machine this is a virtual machine obviously otherwise I wouldn't be able to record and show you what I'm doing but uh, we're gonna see if we can force this machine into um, asking me to do a repair okay and it just did so this is what we're looking for so click the launch startup repair and I just want to say a few things while while I'm waiting for this to boot up you don't have to be afraid to do this this won't change the person's password what I'm going to show you how to do is change the 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 process of entering Windows so I'm going to make give you the capability of opening up the command prompt prior to Windows so that you can open the the user the the secret administrator account and then you can have access to anything on the computer you want even the other users so um, and just wait for this the virtual machine takes a while to boot up so I'm going to just pause it for a minute okay once you get up and run and this is what you're going to see you're going to see the startup repair just let this run it's going to take quite a while so just i mean that's not for you it won't probably be as bad but i'm in a virtual machine so it's going to take me a while so just let this run until it's done okay when this pops up just click cancel and then it'll continue Okay, once this pops up, click this arrow, the black arrow, and then scroll all the way to the bottom, click the bottom link, and then once this window pops open, click on File, Open, and then click on Computer, but we're going to change this right here to All Files, and then we'll double click Computer. And then you're going to click on the local disk, and then Windows, then System32, and then you're going to find Seth C. Let's see, might even be able to type it in here. There you go. So that's what you're looking for. SethC.exe. And it's going to be down here. You're going to go all the way to the S's. I'm going to pause until I find. Okay. Now you're going to notice that I have two Seth C's in here. Now I've already done this. So. I'm not going to change anything in mine, but you're only going to find one Seth C. You're going to you're going to look for this one, and you're going to right click it, and you're going to click rename, and you're going to change it to whatever. I changed it to Seth C. Ed, but like I said, I'm not going to change anything because I already did this. Now you won't have two Seth C Seth C's in there. You only have that after you're done doing what you're doing, and then. You're going to go, when you're done changing that, you're going to find CMD. You're going to go scroll up here. And I'm going to 
I'm going to do this to show you what it looks like. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe where you close this. Oh, come on. Just, just such a freaking idiot. Okay, I had to go back and change everything back to the way it was because I had already done this before. So to make it easy, I just rechanged everything back. So I'm going to I'm gonna help go through the process again now. So now what I want you to do is right click, click rename, and then just rename this anything you want but don't don't take the Seth C I'll just add something to the end of it like I just added add you can add a one two whatever you want and then when you're done doing that go up to uh, the CMD dot exe it's technically just going to be CMD it's more towards the top oh, I just passed it Now, I want you to right-click on this, rename it to Seth C. And then you can click off of it. And then you can close this out. You can close this out. Close this out. Click Finish. Okay, once you reach the log on screen here, just hit the shift key five times in a row, quick. And then you or the command prompt will pop open. You can technically probably close this one, but now I'll type in the net user administrator. Net user administrator active. yes and then hit enter and the command should complete successfully because you are pre-windows and this is technically an administrator account or administrative uh, uh, command prompt so once that's done just restart your computer okay and when you restart you'll notice you'll have an administrator account click on the administrator account Okay, once you're in the uh, administrative account, you'll notice that you can uh, type CMD. And then when it pops up, well, you'll notice that if you type CMD now, you it doesn't bring up the command prompt. But if you type Seth C, you now have the command prompt so if you decided you wanted to hide the administrator again you would have to type Seth C instead of CMD now if you want to change that you're gonna to have to go back in when you're all done you're gonna to have to go back in and do exactly what you did but change the two folders back to what they're supposed to be I don't know if I can show you quickly but Go into computer. You double click on the C drive, go to Windows, and go to System 32. And then you go ahead and try to find the Seth C. Click on here, re rename this CMD. And then click on I'm going to try to run it as an at an elevated level and see if it lets me change it but as you can see you can't you can't rename it inside of Windows so you're gonna to have to go back through the same process that you went through to do what you're doing because otherwise in order to get to the command prompt you're going to have to type Seth C and that's now your command prompt so I hope this helps someone but remember you have to go back through and redo it 
the same way we changed that. 